What's going on, y'all? VNNCZ3 here, and welcome back to a new Magic Arena video. And what we have in front of us is a spicy band deck that I brewed up that I'm calling Awakening Lands. And who would have guessed, Scoobs? The primary win condition of the deck is all land based. And as always, if you're looking for the complete deck list, then check the description below. I'll have a deck list link that'll take you to Aetherhub, as well as a typed up version so that you can copy and directly import it into Magic Arena. And, you know, let me tell you some Scoobs. This deck has a ton of land synergy. I'm talking Tatiova, Crucible of Worlds, Hour of Promise, Elvis Rejuvenator. That's all I'm saying, Scoops, is everything land, 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 land. A lot of the games, you're able to get a Crucible of Worlds out and play, use your Ipnu Rivulet to tap to, tap it, sack a desert, which is Dunes of the Dead, so you get a 2-2 zombie, and then you mill your opponent over for, and by the way, you can replay that Dunes and... Rinse and repeat. So it's like every turn, you're milling your opponent, making zombies, gaining life, drawing cards, and then you've got kind of like this alternate out that almost nobody ever expects. I mean, I've never went against somebody with this deck that expected me to have Sylvan Awakening. And so... You know, on turn seven, you just have so many lands out in play. You tap your three, you slam. You just, you just here you go. Can you win this? Can you beat this? Can you win against it? And um, a lot of people just simply can't. And then you just swing for lethal because you've got a lot of zombies, a lot of elementals. But anyway, Scoobs, about the only bad matchups you're going to have, Scoobs, and they're not even all that bad because you play Subtle and Fumigate are really fast aggro decks, but there's just not a whole lot of those running around in this event. Typically speaking, you're going to be able to just outvalue most most of your opponents out there and get some really easy W's. But aside from all that, I'd like to thank you for spending some of your quad of time to come hang out with me today and enjoy the gameplay. Uh, not a very good hand. I mean, it's got removal. I mean, if I draw into a land, I'm, it's it's okay. But I would I would need a top deck two lands is what I'm trying to say here. It's got to settle, though, and I can cast it off these two lands. Yeah, I'll keep it. This is kind of a it's kind of a sketchy key, but we've got it. We did not draw a land, unfortunately. Let's go double whites. And a field of rune. Wow. Thematic compass. Let's go. Oh. Go, my good sir. Just go already. We're not draw We're not hitting our land drops. This is a really sketchy keep. At least my opponent's got like thematic compass. There we go. We got four lands now. Uh, just gonna commit that. I don't want you to be drawing all those cards, my good sir. Give me a land into a land. Oh, so I know one of the cards is gonna for sure be Glimmer of Genius. <laughs> okay. Oh, I needed that land. Ooh, re. I needed that land badly. So if I draw a land, I can go Tatiova and draw a card and then into another land. Hopefully, anyways. So is my opponent like on a blue-black control list? I don't really know what this deck that I'm playing up against is, but I like it already. I mean, whatever. One to the top, probably another land. No? Okay. Give me a land. Oh! Well, we've got Set of the Wreckage. We've got Fumigate. So I'm not really worried about losing on the ground like that. An Omen Speaker? All right, buddy. Draw me a land into another land. Actually, I'm going to go Teferi first over Tatiova. Because Tatiova can really just... Like, she can just strip, run away from the... Uh, run away with the game. Especially when you're playing two lands a turn. Draw two cards, gain two life every turn. It's pretty good.
Okay, let's go... Yeah, let's go talk to you over here. Probably has an Essence Scatter is what my guess is, or a Disallow, one of the two Scoobs. Yeah, Essence Scatter, that's fine. So, my opponent is on a Counterspell Everything game and try to control the matchup, but it's not going to work out that well, because, like, this deck just does really good against those decks. It really does. Sure. I should have put a Field of Rune in the deck just to start killing off all the lands of my opponent. But it's okay, though. Smack me for one? All right. Let's go. Elvish Rejuvenator. You want to Essence Scatter this, too? <laughs> okay, if you do. I mean, I'm not going to cry about it. Uh, I'm actually going to pick this Ipni Rivulet just in case I get an Hour of Promise. Yeah, just in case I get an hour of promise, that's all. Oh no! He's gonna cast down! Ooh. Whoa. Please do not cast down my stuff, good sir. Sure. Maybe my opponent's on... I, you know, I'm going to stop guessing what my opponent's on, because this is some kind of really funky deck. It really is. I mean, maybe he's just looking for counter spells, and then he's going to slam a Scarab God and hope to win. Sure. Why would you scry two to the bottom? Like, that doesn't make any sense, man. All right, though. It's your game. It's your game. Do what you're going to do. Oh, baby. Watch him have a negate in his hand and be like, what? One, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So going like using the memory portion of this isn't going to work out too well. So we're actually going to go with Teferi here. Does he have a negate in his hand? If he does, he's playing way too many main board hate cards. And that will Sorry, be the reason why he loses. Yeah, we'll draw a card. Let's skip to the good part. One and two. Now we can make zombies. We need a Crucible of Worlds, though, to come out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, sure. He probably has a uh, Verasco's Contempt in his hand, is what my guess is. Well, never need mouse over my cards like that. Let's go. We have one white source, two white sources, and two blues. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So, my opponent can't stop lands. You control enchanted permanent? Uh... Yeah, sure. I mean, it's not like I cannot uh, put the Teferi back onto my library. Maybe it's just on a take everything game plan? I don't know. I need to stop guessing is what I need to do. I'm gonna stop the beatdowns now, actually. You can get two more lands, my good sir. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. I've actually got 12 points of damage in my hand with Sylvan Awakening. Hmm, but him untapping the two lands, that could be a little troublesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if I go memory here, right, what's the worst that could happen? I have just a bunch of removal. I don't really need this right now. If he counterspells this, I'm actually not, I don't really care. Like it's not the end of the world for me. Uh, but yeah. yeah. We'll draw. We'll draw seven new ones here. That's that's much better. That's so much better. Let's go Crucible of Worlds. Got a counterspell? Do you have a counterspell? 
Sure. He thinks that that is counterspell worthy. One and two. That's one counterspell out of his hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Wow, there goes my audio. We're going to go Teferi, put my own Teferi on top of my library. So in the event that he wants to take control of it again, uh, he simply can't. Like, that's the, that's the killer part. There goes my audio again. What? Keep up the pace. So what do we got here? 35 to 42. My opponent's drawing way more cards than I am, but that's eh, whatever. We're going to go Hour of Promise first and then to Fairy. Yep. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Hour of Promise. Now, if he's got two disallows in his hand, a negate, sure. Let's go to fairy. Does he have a second disallow or a second negate? Like that's so much mainboard hate. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Put my own to fairy back on my deck, please. <laughs> Gets rid of the enchantment. It's pretty good. You have another disallow? Nope. Seems pretty out. good. Uh, we'll play our land for the turn. And then we just gotta pass. Let me see here. 7, 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my opponent's got slightly more land than we've got. <laughs> <laughs> My opponent thinks I'm afraid of that. That's cute. All right, let's draw a card. My opponent thinks I'm scared of that, Scoobs. He doesn't even have disallow mana up. If he has another negate in his hand, like Nani? If he if he uses his field of rune here, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go one, two. Yeah, you can put the top four in. Sacrifice the desert. Yeah, that, that looks good to me. You know what? I'm not done yet. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll go fumigate. <laughs> there we go. We'll play our Elvis Rejuvenator now. We'll play another Ipni Rivulet. Thank you. Guess what, Scoobs? We can make another zombie! If he goes Jossu again, that's fine. What? Okay, you you enjoy that, and of course you're gonna play it. Like, of course you're gonna play it. Sure, you have fun. Knock yourself out. <sighs> One, two, three, up. Uh... Now, here's the real question. Do I have enough deserts? I think I do. Yeah, I still got the Indomitable. So, I think we're going to go like this, right? You can put the top four back in. I'll get rid of the dunes. Make another zombie. And there's four more cards. Hmm, seems pretty good. Uh, There's four more cards. I wish you would have... <laughs> uh, you're pathetic. Right, I'm going to be... Uh, uh, what to, what you call it that? Oh, my God. Can we get a silly away? This is not fair. Three. Four. Five. Hour of Promise. Seems really good here. Let's go ahead and get our two deserts, Dune of the Dead, and we'll get two more zombies. A straw card. Sure. 
Sure, you, you go ahead. You cast down my token. You tell it who's boss. No time for a break. Yeah, we have lethal in our hand, literally. Right, on board, I mean, right? So it's a Sylvan Awakening that's two, four, six, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, minus nine, so eighteen. So we have lethal in our hand, literally. Yeah, we're gonna like this, and I like that. I'm not in any rush to beat my opponent, but my opponent has to be in a rush to beat me. With one card in hand, there's no way this is like a rebuke. Yep. Hold a land would be point. great. Crucible? <laughs> That's so backbreaking. Let's go. Crucible is so backbreaking here. Thank you. We're gonna we're gonna play our dunes. We're gonna one, two, and sack. Seems really good. We'll make another zombie. Let me think here, right? So if we play Sylvan Awakening, one, two, three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Swing six, seven, eight. Blocks two. So he would go down to effectively eight life. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in any rush to win. I'm really not. We're going to mill my opponent out is what we're going to do. Yep. Knock yourself out, cowboy. Karn? Sure. Karn is only hurting you. You know that, right? I, hopefully this guy knows that. Gonna give him, we're gonna give him a swamp. Play the card I don't know about. I should, I have lethal. I, I'm just gonna swing lethal. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna go one and two, one, two, and three. Catch! Do you have a counter spell? Have a good day! We're winning with lands, ladies and gentlemen. We're winning with lands! Now, a lot of people are saying that this event is just crap altogether, but you're you're realistically buying a, an M19 booster for 500 gold. That's like half off. I mean, granted, there aren't very many good cards in M19. I wish this was more of like a Dominaria, Ixalan slash Rivals of Ixalan, kind of like a booster pack. That'd be so much better, but I can't really argue with 500 gold a booster pack. I really can't, and this is a pretty fun deck. Oh, I'm gonna say Scoobs. I need the I need the fill -la 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 lich is what I need. Give it to me, baby. Mmm. I can take him. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. I can taste it. Give me the lich. We're not. Anyway, so guys, look. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the gameplay. But y'all know what I'm talking about, though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. To spend some of your cool old and and uh, yeah. Stay classy.